Hello. This short video summarizes some exciting new research that I've been coordinating for the past three years involving classical archaeology, paleobotany, and sustainable agriculture in Italy's Sabine Hills. But the story does not begin in Italy. Rather, it begins here, in Vermont, where my wife and I have been farming for over 20 years. I am a classics professor by day, but this is what I do the rest of the time. So these are some of our favorite animals on the farm. Turks and Caicos, named after where we'd rather be in a Vermont February. They, uh, they guard the sheep when uh, the sheep are far away from the house, uh, keep them safe from coyotes. So this is the newest addition to the farm. Uh, Dolly, Scottish Highland cow, Cuthbert, her calf, born uh, early in the spring, and Hamish, our raging bull. Building my own house and outbuildings and taking care of land and animals over the years got me interested in sustainable systems and environmental preservation. In the course of writing a book on this topic, I was the beneficiary in spring 2018 of a short residency at the American Academy in Rome. For a break from the city, my wife and I took a short walking vacation in the Sabine Hills, where I literally stumbled upon this extraordinary research opportunity. Beginning in Casperia, we walked from one agriturismo to another, ending our journey here at Agriturismo La Mola Sulfarfa in Monpeo. The owners, Stefano Fassone and Elizabeth de Coster, are organic olive farmers and hoteliers who happen also to have discovered the well-preserved remains of an ancient Roman Villa Rustica, a working farm from the Republican era, in their olive grove. The visible remains of the villa are impressive. A sprawling cryptoporticus or underground barn with processing and storage rooms, a floor mosaic, the original millstone from the olive press, a large water cistern, and a unique three bay oil separating vat. Even more impressive are the trees in the grove, which have been carbon dated as at least 1500 years old. Some are almost certainly older. Olive pits found during excavation have been carbon dated to the same age. What is more, over 20 varieties of olive in the surrounding grove have been DNA tested as unknown to the modern genome, meaning that they are pre-modern varieties dating from Roman times. Because the creases on olive pits are like a fingerprint unique to each variety, by comparing ancient pits found in the ground to the pre-modern varieties in the grove, we can actually identify those pits living parent trees, a procedure called morphometric analysis. This ancient olive grove is particularly important and unique in that it sits cheek by jowl beside the infrastructure and apparatus of a Villa Rustica purpose-built to process its crop on site. Adding to its interest, ancient land records preserved in the Registo di Farfa and the Chronicon Farfense connect this property to Pompey the Great. Even the town name Mompeo may reflect this historical association with Pompey. Combined with the archaeological and other evidence, this indicates this landscape has been in continuous use for agriculture for over 2,000 years. In addition to conducting a traditional archaeological excavation at La Mole, we have developed a student internship program and will be establishing a tree nursery on site to propagate the ancient varieties of olive, not only to preserve them for posterity, but also in order to conduct research on olive crop resilience in the face of climate change. That these remarkable trees preserve a taste of ancient Rome 
only adds to their value from a food systems perspective. My own current work explores this aspect of the project. The modern agriturismo movement, I suggest, designed to keep small farmers on their land, reinstantiates ancient Roman land use laws that saw small holding as the ideal. Agriturismo La Mola Solfarfa is a working farm, but it is also a peaceful, pleasant retreat for travelers and guests, just like the Villae Rusticae of old. It produces artisanal oil for the retail market and self-consciously preserves and enhances the landscape. In sum, this special site is at one and the same time a productive landscape and a monument to ancient Roman agronomy and foodways. It is also a living seed bank where the biodiversity of the past is still on deposit. As an agriturismo that practices sustainable organic agriculture, that investment is being conscientiously managed in the present for future generations. In its several facets, the Roman Villa Project exemplifies the ways in which the study of ancient environments can inform more modern environmental concerns. <laughs>